Right, so hopefully you'll have read extract one by now, the opening of Burnt. If you haven't, pause this now and then come back to us. Equally, I hope you've been uh, on YouTube and looked at the 11 short clips which cover the entire short story. And you'll know that this is epistolary, that this is told by the main character through his diary entries. And we're not getting ahead of ourselves here. Each day he writes, he's just talking about the things that happened that day. He doesn't know what's going to unfold next. He's not in that position. And interestingly as well, he uses some dialogue in script form, which we'll look at. So July 10th tells us where we are. Uh, it tells us kind of weather we're to expect. It's the summer holidays. Um, he's of school age. And we know we're getting first person and we're getting diary. Um, and also, it's almost like that kind of detective fiction. You've got that sense of him sitting, a typewriter, recording things as he sees him spying on something. This capitalisation here, a note on Sarah Howard, as he types that in to give us a bit of extra information, is clearly that diary journal style. And when he listens to dialogue as well, he overhears them, and the writer chooses to record it like a script here. Sarah says, I'm sorry, Susan, I can't take it. The thing is, I have plans. And it gives it that effect of being overheard, eavesdropping, and almost kind of spy 